So, you ready to see the results of the mission? Take a peek. What NASA thought was a revolutionary mission to gather samples of an asteroid has turned into something much more interesting after a shocking discovery was made. When scientists finally opened the sample canisters from the OSIRIS-REx mission, they were expecting a collection of rock and dust that would better help them understand the origins of the asteroid Bennu. However, what they found inside could finally answer one of the greatest questions in science. How did life originate? So, what is the OSIRIS-REx mission and what did NASA find? Let's take a closer look. Imagine holding an object that might unravel the secrets of life itself, a vital piece of the cosmic puzzle with answers to humanity's entire existence. This extraordinary specimen could unlock the mysteries of our cosmic origins and offer insights into our future. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission has achieved precisely this feat, successfully collecting and returning to Earth a sample extracted from the asteroid Bennu, a celestial remnant of the ancient solar system. The examination of this sample by NASA scientists has provided valuable insights into the asteroid's unique composition and origin, potentially reshaping our understanding of our place in the universe. It holds the promise of addressing age-old questions that have captivated humans for centuries. Where did we come from? How did life begin? And perhaps most profoundly, are we alone in the vastness of the cosmos? Collecting a sample from Bennu presented a significant challenge due to its small size and rocky terrain. The asteroid spins on its axis every 4.3 hours and features extremely low gravity, making a conventional landing impossible. NASA ingeniously tackled this obstacle with the creation of OSIRIS-REx, a robotic spacecraft designed for this specific mission. The craft, equipped with a robotic arm and a specialized sampling device, executed a precise maneuver to collect a sample from Bennu. The sampling device made a brief touch on the asteroid's surface, releasing a burst of nitrogen gas to stir up dust and rocks, which were then carefully collected. This collected sample was securely stored in a capsule and transported back to Earth. Upon its return, the capsule found its way to a dedicated facility at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Here, NASA scientists conducted meticulous procedures to unlock the secrets held within the sample. The capsule was opened with care and the sample was extracted from its protective casing. It was then transferred to a nitrogen-filled chamber to ensure no contamination or degradation. To unravel the mysteries contained in the sample, NASA scientists utilized an array of advanced instruments and techniques. Additionally, they compared the sample's composition with the data gathered by OSIRIS-REx's onboard instruments during its orbital exploration around Bennu. The analysis of the sample yielded remarkable results, revealing the presence of water molecules and a substantial quantity of carbon-bearing materials. These materials included organic molecules and carbonates. Organic molecules consisting of carbon, hydrogen, and occasionally other elements like oxygen and nitrogen are considered fundamental building blocks of life due to their involvement in various biological processes. Carbonates, minerals composed of carbon and oxygen, often alongside elements like calcium and magnesium, form through chemical interactions between water and rocks. These findings challenge the notion of Bennu as a mere collection of dry rocks, highlighting its role as a reservoir of water and carbon that has been preserved for billions of years. To comprehend the origins of the materials found on Bennu, we must journey back in time to the early stages of our solar system, around 4.5 billion years ago. During this period, our Sun was surrounded by a swirling disk of gas and dust, known as the protoplanetary disk. Over time, this disk condensed into larger entities called 
planetesimals, which further coalesced to form the planets and moons we recognize today. Not all planetesimals from the early stages of our solar system evolved into planets. Some persisted as smaller celestial bodies, like asteroids and comets, scattered across different regions. These remnants, including Bennu, retain water and carbon acquired either directly from the protoplanetary disk or through collisions with other celestial bodies. Bennu falls into the category of B-type asteroids, characterized by their dark and carbon-rich surfaces. It is also classified as a rubble-pile asteroid, indicating that it consists of fragments from other asteroids shattered by impacts and reassembled due to gravity. Bennu's origin traces back to a larger parent body, likely located in the outer region of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, where water and carbon were more abundant. Around 700 million years ago, this parent body experienced a collision with another asteroid, leading to its fragmentation. Bennu emerged as one of these fragments, inheriting water and carbon from its parent body. Gravitational interactions, particularly with Jupiter, caused Bennu to migrate from its original position in the asteroid belt closer to Earth. This migration brought Bennu nearer to the Sun, leading to the evaporation and escape of some water and carbon into space. However, a portion of these elements remained trapped within Bennu's rocks or beneath its surface, shielded from solar radiation and heat. But what does this all mean? The conformation of water and carbon in Bennu's sample holds significant implications for our understanding of the solar system and the origins of life. It solidifies Bennu's status as a relic from the early solar system, preserving its primitive materials over billions of years. Moreover, this discovery highlights Bennu's potential as a reservoir of water and carbon, not only for itself, but also as a source for other celestial bodies, including Earth. Water and carbon are essential prerequisites for life. Water provides the necessary liquid medium for chemical reactions, while carbon serves as the building block for organic molecules, forming intricate structures and functions. The presence of these vital elements on an asteroid like Bennu opens up intriguing possibilities, suggesting that life might have originated or evolved on other planets or moons within our solar system or even beyond. One prevailing hypothesis regarding the origin of life on Earth states that it might have been initiated by asteroids or comets. These celestial bodies could have transported vital ingredients such as water and organic molecules to our planet. Once here, these materials could have interacted with other elements and energy sources, potentially leading to the formation of the first living cells. This hypothesis gains support from the discovery that certain meteorites that have fallen on Earth contain amino acids, the essential building blocks of proteins. Another hypothesis, known as panspermia, suggests that life on Earth may have originated from another celestial body, like Mars or Europa, through the transport of microorganisms on asteroids or comets. The resilience of certain microorganisms to extreme conditions supports the idea that life could survive space travel. Bennu's sample provides a unique opportunity to test and refine these hypotheses, offering insights into the nature and origin of water and organic molecules on asteroids. The study of Bennu's composition extends beyond questions of life's origins. It allows scientists to compare the asteroid with others and meteorites, deepening our understanding of these celestial bodies. Moreover, Bennu's sample contributes to unraveling the complex cycles of water and carbon throughout the solar system, shedding light on their availability, distribution and transportation across different celestial bodies. This research informs our understanding of habitability and the evolution of these bodies. More than a scientific inquiry, the analysis of Bennu's sample stands as a monumental achievement in astrobiology and planetary science. 
It underscores the profound significance of asteroids like Bennu, serving as witnesses to our cosmic history and offering valuable clues about the conditions that shaped our solar system. So, spacers, what do we think? Share your thoughts in the comments below, leave us a thumbs up if you liked this video, and please comment, like, and share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications to stay updated on new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.